Mr. Speaker, this job-killing tax on construction could not have come at a worse time. For the first time in over 15 years, GDP has now declined for two consecutive years. The largest source of decline was a 14 percent drop in construction, and the number of housing starts has fallen to their lowest level since 2009. At the same time, the SAS Party is also cutting services like health care and social assistance. More funding and job cuts are on the way, but those sectors have already lost 2,300 jobs since last year. These SAS Party attacks on education and health care hurt our kids and the province's most vulnerable. They also disproportionately push women out of work. In April alone, 84 percent of the people thrown out of work in Saskatchewan were women. Mr. Speaker, at this same time, the Minister for the Status of Women has no one working in her office. I'll repeat that. The Ministry for the Status of Women currently is empty. Why is the SAS Party turning its back on so many and leaving women behind? 